this is Teacher Phoebe and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn about subtraction of similar fractions. Let us recall the meaning of fractions. Fractions represent a numerical value that expresses a part of a whole. A fraction has a numerator and a denominator. Numerator represents the parts out of the whole or set, while the denominator shows the total amount of parts that make up a whole. Let us have a recall on what are similar fractions. Similar or like fractions are fractions with the same denominators. 2 eighths, 4 eighths, 6 eighths, and 7 eighths are examples of similar fractions. They are similar fractions because the denominator of the following fractions are the same. For us to subtract similar fractions, here are the steps to follow. First, subtract the numerators. Second, copy the denominator. And third, simplify the fraction if possible. Now let us find the difference between 5 ninths and 3 ninths. Let us use the first step in subtracting similar fractions. Let us subtract the numerators. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Now let us do the second step which is copy the denominator. So let us copy the denominator 9 to our answer. And for the last step, let us simplify our answer. 2 and 9 does not have common factors. Therefore, the simplest form in the final answer for the difference of 5 ninths and 3 ninths is 2 ninths. Let us have another example. We have 6 sevenths minus 2 sevenths is equal to n. Let us do the step 1. Subtract the numerators. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Step 2, let us copy the denominator. Copy the denominator 7 to our answer. And for the last step, let us simplify our answer. Since 4 and 7 does not have common factors, the final answer and the difference between 6 sevenths and 2 sevenths is 4 sevenths. For the final example, let us have 7 eighths minus 3 eighths. Let us do the step 1. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. Step 2, let us copy our denominator 8 to our answer. And for the third step, let us simplify our answer if possible. The common factor of 4 and 8 is 4. We are going to divide our numerator and denominator by number 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Therefore, the simplest form of 4 8 is 1 half. Always remember the steps in subtracting similar fractions. First, Subtract the numerators. Second, copy the denominator. And third, simplify your answer if possible. Let us have some practice on what you've learned in this video. 4 sixths minus 3 sixths is equal to n. The correct answer is 1 sixth. 4 fifths minus 1 fifth is equal to n. The correct answer is 3 fifths. 8 ninths minus 5 ninths is equal to n.
The correct answer is 3 ninths. Or the simplest form is 1 third. Remember, to subtract similar fraction, you must first subtract the numerators, second, copy the denominator, and third, simplify your answer if possible. Did you enjoy the lesson? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell on this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. Bye!